<clears throat> Baldur's Gate 3 isn't ashamed of nudity. It actively celebrates it. So my impression was that the game had allowed you to uh, customize your character how you want, including genitals, including all that, your body type in the nude, if you so cho chose to. But I thought it was just for that, similar to Cyberpunk 2077, where like in the game, you couldn't really walk around naked. And I thought, okay, that was just, it was for the sake of uh, sex scenes and romance scenes. But it turns out that in this game, you can undress whenever, it seems. In combat, at your camp, when you're having, you know, conversations with people, in cutscenes, etc. Just walking about, apparently, you can just take off your underwear. If you set it set in the settings, which was a surprise to me, but also a welcome surprise, right? Because why not? What's so bad about the human body, right? It seems that the video game industry has been shy about nudity for a while. It's been sexualized in the past, you know, things like uh, the God of War series, the original. PS2 era, God of War, had a lot of uh, topless goddesses and women uh, about, and, uh, and in an in, in often sexualized manner. Um, not that topless women really should be considered too differently from topless men, I think. Aside from the fact that we do live in a society in which women are sexualized, breasts are sexualized, but um, but in ideally, you know, I, I'm all about free the nipple. You know, the idea that everyone should have topless equality, regardless of what their chest looks like, whether they have memory memory glands or not. You know, but when it comes to games, um seeing genitalia was was has been a rare occurrence now with the advent of of um survival games on pc in particular uh often your characters would start off naked and try and your the goal is to like survive and find materials to create clothing to create your house your shelter etc and hunt and survive and eat drink etc so you know it made sense completely made sense in those games to include nudity um and i think the most uh the, the game that people that comes to mind when people think of nudity and survival games perhaps is conan exiles because that one featured uh You know, I think you could, yeah, it featured full nudity in the custom creator, and then you can just walk around naked while you're surviving, trying to find your clothes, and there was an, it was an option. The thing about Conan Exiles is that the full nudity setting was only available on the PC in the U.S., but on consoles, you couldn't have full nudity. You you could only have, uh, you know, be topless if you're in a female body for your character, or or a male body, of course, or type A, type B, both types of bodies. Um, which I, I think is a good idea of not naming one body female, one body male to be inclusive of all gender identities. So, but in general, when it came to you, the US uh, copies of the game, maybe some other territories, probably Japan, other places, you could not have full nudity, you couldn't have your, your you couldn't be bottomless, you know? Um, but the console versions in Europe, like Germany, UK, other places, they did allow 
for full nudity. And so if you wanted to have full nudity in Coin Exiles and Skinny Dip, you know, role play as a as a survivor who perhaps is trying to find some clothes to some material to make some clothes. Perhaps it's it's a very warm day and you want to just sunbathe in a nude in a, in a game. If you wanted to do that in Conan Exiles, you needed to not be in the U.S. or you could be in the U.S. and import uh, a copy, a console copy from Europe, or you can play on PC. Which the reason Steam allowed it is because I think they left it unrated, right? Or Steam, I think, allows any type of rating for a game. But in the US, Conan Exiles was rated M only because they took out the option to see genitalia and to play as fully nude in the US. If they had kept it, it would have been rated A adults only, barring it from being sold in all any major stores, including the PlayStation Store, the Xbox Store, I think, online, like the. Um, so you know, at the time, it seemed for anybody interested in in the U.S. interested in in being fully liberated, in the sense of being able to be skyclad um, in your games, it didn't seem like a good. It wasn't a good time, and. Uh, But then, but then came, uh, yeah, as you can see, there was, there was different, there was all these options here you can change. I think you couldn't change the genitalia depending on, on, uh, I think your body was, you couldn't change the genitalia dependent, um, depending on your, you couldn't independently cho choose your genitalia. You had to choose either body A type which had a penis and body B, which had a vagina or a vulva, both, I guess. Although it wasn't that detailed. Um, so whatever, but those are your options. But then came Cyberpunk, right? And that's a big deal, Cyberpunk. Um, and that game was probably the most high profile game at the time to allow you to customize your character in the nude. When you're during character creation, you can choose your body type. And I think, yeah, you could choose different genitalia. You can choose penis one, penis two, and then I think just vulva. And uh, regardless of your body type. But in that game, the your gender was tied to your voice, which is unfortunate, you know? So if you were had a deep voice, you were classified as male. If you had a high voice or higher voice, you were classified. There's only two voice options. You were classified as female, no matter how you wanted to represent yourself. Um, but the other thing about cyberpunk is that you can only be naked in the menu. And there's been a lot of discussion about why that is, you know, sure you can get mods for new mods for most games, but the default setting on consoles, you can freely customize and see your avatar nude fully, no matter what, you know, even the US, maybe places like Japan, other places not, I don't, I'm not sure, but as a gamer based in the US, that's probably what I'm most interested in um, because it affects me. <laughs> but I'm, of course, I, I would like everyone to be able to be uh, experience games as they're intended everywhere. But right, but as for the US, you could customize and view your, your avatar in the nude. But once you're in game, they have underwear on. So I think you could be topless again but you cannot be bottomless. And there's, I think there was a glitch or something that would, would allow you to be bottomless. And again, 
it's like, what is this? Is it Sony coming in trying to censor things? Is it what, what's the deal? Like, it seems that it was the ESRB, as usual. Um, I I did some research in the past, and the what I came up with or what I I discovered, and it's hard to find the sources to this. But I think on some forum post, I found that like the idea is that at the time the ESRB allows like nudity, sexuality, gore and stuff for M ready games. It, but if your game has strong sexual activity in which your car- your avatar, your character partakes in sexual activity, that's an adults only game, right? And that keeps it out of sto- most stores because most stores don't want to sell adults o- only games. Kind of like the NC seventeen rating for movies. It's like labeling your your game as as porn basically, and they don't want it. Stores don't want to be associated with that. Walmart, for example, doesn't want to be associated with that, so they're not going to sell a game if it's rated AO. So publishers and developers are always going for the M rating at the highest. Yeah. You know? Um. And so ASRB at the time was like, well. If you have sexual activity, if you have sexual activity, it's a no go. You know, you can have maybe like rated R scenes, like in The Witcher, that are not interactive, that are just cut scenes. That's okay, and it's not too explicit. You know, but if they're you know anything more than that, it's a no go. And that includes being able to control your character and walk around and perform actions in the nude fully nude apparently at the time that was considered too much for an m rating and so i believe that's why which is what we saw with with conan exiles and why i think cyberpunk 2077 did not allow you to be fully nude during gameplay so but you know it was a step in the right direction i guess i mean we're it seems like we were that was 2020 we were moving forward, be developers and audiences and, and players are becoming more accepting of nudity in their games. And perhaps, um, you know, as, as the demographic of video game players grows, they want something more akin to what they watch in movies and TV. Um, they want to live a fantasy life, and that sometimes includes you know, being naked, because sometimes in life, we are naked, right? We're born naked, we shower naked, most of us, some of us sleep naked, some of us are nudist, some of us are occasional exhibitionist, (laughs) but, um, you know, I feel like most gamers these days acknowledge that if it makes sense to have nudity in your game, if the world reacts accordingly then why not? It makes it more realistic. It makes it more uh, immersive of an experience, you know, instead of having all these abilities that customize your character, your class, your abilities, your clothing, your armor, but why not decide to swim in the naked in in a game one day, you know? Why not have that option? Um, Or just, you know, role play as as a naturist. Well, now in 2023, it seems that we've taken the next step with Baldur's Gate 3. Now, this game has been given a mature 17 plus rating, uh, which is interesting because here it says partial nudity, which is not entirely accurate it is complete nudity right it's full nudity maybe larian studios got away with something i don't know but that is interesting i wonder uh, uh, more investigation is probably needed for this because when i saw this i I just saw nudity and i didn't realize it said partial what is that See, like, if we read here, it says, This is a role-playing game in which players assume the role of adventure on a quest to remove an implanted parasite player that exists. 
Explore dungeons and towns and interact with characters to complete various quests and missions. In most missions, players engage in turn-based combat against fantastical creatures, orcs, goblins using swords, axes, magic spells, large blood splatter effects are seen on the ground as enemies are blah, 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 players have the ability to kill, blah, 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 including chained prisoners, blah, 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 blah and an exposed brain from restrained character's skull. The game contains a brief sequence of painting a couple with exposed buttocks and breasts engaging in sexual activity. A man guiding a character's head toward his groin. The camera cuts away to characters' faces. The word, you know, okay, okay, okay. So, it doesn't even mention uh, the character creator, the new dude in there. Um, and it doesn't mention being able to control your character in the new during gameplay. Interesting. Now, in the early access of the game, apparently there was no nudity setting. So perhaps that rating was is for the early access and that's how they circumvented the whole thing. Now the game right now is only available on PC and the PlayStation 5 version is coming at the end of the month or I think the beginning of next month. Which is interesting because what does that entail? Does that mean that is he going to get a new rating for the PlayStation game? Which means it may not include full nudity? That is a little bit of concern, you know, like, and is there going to be uproar here of people complaining, well, you can't have full nudity on the, on the PlayStation, but you can on the PC. It's rated M on the PC. Like, it, it, I don't know. It, the fact that on Steam right now, it's rated M, and it has that full nudity. Seems to indicate that it will be rated M on on uh, PlayStation Unchanged, you know. But I don't know. Maybe not. There might be some issues there, and I don't know if Larian is ready to talk about it yet. Um, but as you can see, you can play. Um. A new playthrough if you want. There's like we got various selections of uh in the character creator for different options of genitalia. So it seems, you know pretty pretty progressive in that sense. But will it continue? Will it be allowed on PlayStation? I'm I'm wondering about that. You know, you know, they're circumcised, they're uncircumcised, there's pubis, pubic hair, there's no pubic hair, I believe. Um, but yeah, so, you know, and this article is pretty much, and a lot of people are celebrating the fact that it embraces nudity, you know, and celebrates it, um, you know. Right now, a lot, of, a lot of the popular clips are just streamers like um, reacting to the nudity, like "Oh my gosh!" Um, but if you listen to podcasts and stuff, there are people talking about how it's it's great. It's like it makes the it's like it makes it more inclusive. It, it, it makes people feel included. Um, it's just it's it's, it's kind of like a refreshing take the idea for a role-playing game you know the idea that that you can do so many things in this game so it's like why not why not uh also be able to be nude if you wanted to so um that's good let, let's let me read some of this that it's some of this article To be fair, Larian to Larian, it wasn't screaming from the rooftops about the intimacy of its character creator ahead of launch, largely because it didn't need to. It takes inspiration from Dungeons and Dragons and the dedication extends to creating character in, in its world and reflects either who you are or whoever you want to be without compromise. That's a, that's a good thing. Like, that's the thing. Like, you know, I have a, a body that I was born with. I don't necessarily dislike the body, but... I also have, um, you know, sometimes a desires to be in different bodies, and 
I, I like the idea of mix and matching my body in a fantasy world, you know, uh, like, why not? Like, you know, sometimes I feel like the ideal body in my sense is, is a mix of both masculine and feminine features is a mis mix of, of different sexes, you know, like, you know, wh why not? dream of, a, of 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 a body with with mammary glands as well as as a penis as well as or or one with a vulva and, and a flat chest like I, I feel like presenting that possibility in a way is revolutionary in terms of of of, of sexuality of gender representation of all that and uh it's pretty exciting, but I, I, I'm a bit cautious because I, I don't know to what extent it will be allowed in future games. I don't know. I hope, you know, other developers uh, will see this as, okay, Larian Studios did it, so we can too. You know, maybe the DLC for Cyberpunk 27 will, will enable nudity throughout the gameplay as well. Uh... This can translate to parading around the fantastical realm as a t tiefling with an attitude, or half elf trans woman with a massive hog swinging between her legs. Okay, anything is possible in this time, in a time when games like Cyberpunk only serve to underwhelm with queer potential seen in their own offerings. Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate 3 leaves them in the dust and forges an exciting path forward, one where your entire party is naked and absolutely slaying the day away. Why not? Not saying you should, but you can play through the entire game without a piece of armor equipped. I think it's adorable to keep their shoes on so they don't get muddy. That's funny. Um, you know, you could, you can, uh, like it says here, you might run a D and D campaign where your party consists of daring society of nudists, and every dialogue option you pick and battle you partake in built is in built to reflect such a philosophy. Everybody acts like this is the most normal thing in the world, and it's sort of brilliant doubly so in a medium which is often so prudishly afraid of any forms of sex and nudity. Yeah, so exactly. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, it seems that most people are either laughing in a way some people think it's unnecessary like oh, people are always like why, why even include it, you know? But as listed, it, 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 it's, it's great for representation and it's great for role playing. Like we're you're role playing a game, you know? Let's role play to, our, to the fullest, you know? Why not? We have the technology. Let's do it, you know? And the thing is that this is a mature game. It's intended. It's like a like a radar movie. You know, there's sexual themes in here. There's violence. There's adult content. There's adult ideas. There's uh, adult humor. Um, so it's not expected. This is not a game that is expected to be shown to kids or, or people who are not mature, you know? So we, we definitely gotten to a point now where most gamers are, are adults now, I think. Right. And I think the medium age is like in their thirties or something, um, for, for the top gamers. So and another thing is that nudity doesn't have to be about sex, you know, like, like just because you're able to choose your Antelia in the character rater and customize your character, that's that's that has nothing to do with sex. That's just customizing your body. You know, you're role playing as an elf, as a dragon, as a whatever, and you want to customize your hair. You want to customize your eyes, your your ears, your you know your body type, and that includes your Antelias too. Why not? So, it, I mean, it just it just makes sense and it's something that you know something I, I wish was available in more games I remember playing Skyrim back in the day and uh, installing nude mods because I wanted to role play that way I wanted to there was a survival mod I installed I wanted to to feel like I was actually in that world and sometimes that included um, 
you know, taking my armor off because I was um, over encumbered. It was hot out outside in those in or something, and I, you know, uh, and I would be nude. But then, if I were to go, you know, up in the mountains in the cold, of course, I would want to put on some clothing. I want to put on some some furs or something to keep cool to survive, you know. But if you're swimming, it's actually better to get rid of the clothing because the cold sticks to the to your clothes in the water, and it keeps. You, so it's better to swim naked in the cold. If you want to survive, so it's like all these different things you have to think about that have nothing to do with sex, you know. And uh, you know, and I'm and most people would probably accuse people using those mods as as just perverts, and a lot of them were, but not necessarily, you know. And it, it, and what was, what was unfortunate is a lot of the nude mods for Skyrim other games are designed by men by men who who have this male gaze and so they often design these unrealistic proportions or for women characters and it is often sexual you know sexualized so i think it's great for an actual developer to include these bodies in their game without sexualizing them and not coming from a perverted mindset you know now it would be great if there was actually more variety in the bodies uh, from what I've seen, uh, they're only like uh, typical, typically thing. I think there's like a muscular bodies, but they're not. They're not. Uh, there's there's not like you know more heavy set bodies. So they they, they they there is room for improvement here, you know. And it is a fantasy world, so they could have included even more genitalia, right? Why not a mix of vulva with with a penis, you know, a scrotum with a vulva. Like, why, why not mix and match? Why not have the ability to do all, that, do all that? You know, that would be kind of interesting. You know, it's a fantasy world. Why not, right? <laughs> so, you know, but yeah, that, those are my general thoughts on the subject. Uh, what else was I gonna say? I don't know. But yeah, hopefully, you know, hopefully uh, when it comes to consoles, uh, the gameplay and video will remain intact, you know. And hopefully this will be a watershed moment in which future games, future games that, you know, all about role playing, customizing your character, all about being immersed, you know, won't be afraid to to immerse you, you know, with nudity, you know, with better customization, with better representation, and not treat it like a juvenile uh, teenage boy, you know. So hopefully, uh, you, know, you know, not just bodies, but but sexualities and genders as well. Like, you know, that this is a romance game too. Like, there's romancing in it. You know, it's like if if someone if a trans person wants to role play in a in a in a game in romance characters, like it's nice that they have an avatar that represents them. You know, maybe not exactly who they are or how they not maybe maybe not exactly how they physically look, but what they want to look like or what they aspire to be one day, or maybe they just want to try out a different body. You know, why not? So. I think overall it's a good thing and you know I mean at least the commentaries I've been watching have been pretty supportive of it so so, it's, so that's good you know and uh, it, another thing that happened recently actually was uh, during a Street Fighter tournament related to this there was uh, where the where the host of the Street Fighter tournament had a nude mod installed now that's you know, a little different in the sense because in a fighting game, you know, it, it it's like for the story of the game, it doesn't make much sense for you to be um, be in the streets fighting naked, right? And often those mods are just purely for eye candy. But at the same time, 
is it necessarily that bad of a thing? I mean, weren't the didn't the uh, Romans or Greeks wrestle in the nude and fight in the nude in the Olympics and stuff like that? So I can see an argument for including nudity in, in a fighting game as well. But, you know, it, it, it wasn't part of the game, and it was a mod. It was, and it's in the context of a, f a tournament and the idea of only having the female naked, you know, the, the Chun-Li nude in this game at the, during that fight. And, uh, you know, hosted by 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 men played mostly by men it 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 absolutely you know could discourage women from participating or it could taint the whole the whole tournament as as you know a, a boys club chauvinistic type of type of atmosphere due to that so it's like i i understand if like yeah maybe it's not the best place to to have those nude mods or nudity in a different in a different time different world maybe with a different game or if the game included more inclusive bodies or and not just if it wasn't a mod it was actually intentional in the sense that the developers you know included that for all the characters you know maybe there's like a mud wrestling competition i don't know in the game i don't know it could be a funny thing. It could be something interesting. But in the context of that tournament, it definitely was uh, was not the best idea. It was not a good idea. But as for in general, in future games, purely role-playing games, survival games, um, just games that want you to be immersed, like, you know, role-play in, in your little camp, role-play in, in a town or whatever. Maybe there's, uh, like Sardo said, maybe there's a, a group of nudists in the game and why not join them why not have that option if you want to you know so yeah there we go so we'll see we'll see where it goes where the industry goes from here i'm certainly interested i mean learning about the option to to roam as you please in this game uh got me a little more interested in it. I was already interested in it because I love role-playing games. I love, you know, having to choose different dialogue options. I love romance in the games. And, you know, Mass Effect is one of my favorite, you know, series, the original. Um, I have fun playing the Bolt, the, the um, what's it called? The Dragon Age games. Like, I love that stuff. So, uh, it's kind of getting me... You know, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't have a a PC good enough or Mac. I don't think. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I can run on my, on this Mac because apparently this Baldur's, Baldur's Gate Three is on Mac as well. Um, but I don't think I don't have a computer powerful enough to actually play it and stream at the same time, even. So I'll probably get it on PS Five when it does come out, especially if it's as liberated as the PC version. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's, it's enticing. I, I, like there's a new PS five model, maybe coming out this end of the end of the year. So maybe or in a month or so. So that might be enticed me to get it. If not, I'll probably end up getting one when the pro version comes out. I don't know. I'm still on the fence on whether I should wait for the pro version of PS5 or not, because I don't know how much more it would be worth it or not. I don't know, but I do envision myself playing this game and streaming it at some point. But right now, I think it's time for... Uh